The illegal wildlife trade is thriving in Laos and in Myanmar, where the military coup has made things worse. Globally, wildlife comes in at number four after the illicit trade in drugs, human trafficking and counterfeit goods. Mei Wang reports. Illegal drug trafficking continued to thrive despite COVID-19 restrictions and the pandemic didn't end up killing off the illicit wildlife trafficking trade either. The UN is concerned about Laos becoming a major illegal transnational wildlife hub in the already problematic Mekong region. We've seen traffickers increasingly use it to move illicit products, and that includes wildlife, where they have these special economic zones where people are doing some stockpiling or trafficking, or drugs. Different illicit commodities are transiting Laos. It uniquely, of course, shares a land border with everyone else in the Mekong, which makes it vulnerable. Small population, low capacity, uh, and it's easy to move things in and out. Neighboring Myanmar continues to be a base for illicit activities like wildlife crime. The political crisis and violence have displaced hundreds of thousands, forcing many to hide in the jungles and eventually resorting to trafficking to survive. People having lost jobs, they go into the forest to search for food, essentially. So they go hunting. Uh, often they might hunt endangered species. Uh, so it's not necessarily for the purposes of trafficking, but simply for their own subsistence. But at the same time, those people without economic opportunity going forward, they may get into timber trafficking, wildlife trafficking as a way to make money, not just for subsistence. And that, that can be very dangerous, especially as those borders open and people come across to procure products or to ship them into big markets like Vietnam or China or Thailand. In Thailand, the pandemic has forced tourist sites to shut down and owners to think of new ways to generate income. In March, authorities raided Mukda Tiger Park and Farm in northeast Thailand for the second time this year. Authorities found tigers that were smuggled into the country and not born in captivity as claimed. This park alone is said to have some 50 tigers and cubs, a huge expense. Tiger have 20 years and you can use it uh, for a uh, selfie, three year maximum, one to three, zero to three years. And what about year three to year 20s? It's very expensive, very costly to, to raise those animals, right? Because like tiger eat all the time and you need to keep feeding to them. WWF believes selling them could be one way to cut expenses and potentially make 80,000 US dollars from each tiger. But of course, you cannot sell in market because it's illegal. They are protected species. But if you can sell it, when I say tiger, you can say different part: skin, uh, fangs, uh, organs, many things. You can sell it. So you separate part and sell it. It could cost. Uh, it could give you uh, like three million parts. WWF says it's difficult to present hard evidence that the tigers are being bred to be sold for their parts later. But people need to be aware such trade is going on. I don't know is, is no longer an excuse because every piece of information that you need to know is available online, right? If you can purchase something online within five minutes, you can certainly get that information about legality online as well. Activists admit that wildlife trafficking cannot get as much attention compared to the illegal drug trade. But time's running out, as it'll just be about a decade before some species become extinct. And also, natural habitats like this will disappear if illegal logging continues. These are all irreplaceable. And experts say whether it's one life animal or a part of a wildlife killed, the impact will be lasting and you'll be as guilty of a crime equally. Mei Wong, CNA, Bangkok.